But like I said, the other night when I was here, there was a monster gator right in the middle of the parking lot up there with a raccoon in its mouth. That's why I didn't stay. Okay guys, so me and my dad made it to Hicks Lake. We've never fished this lake before. It's about an hour drive from our house, so we figured we'd go try it out. And we just got here, so I will see you guys in a bit while I'm fishing. Looks like you walk this way anyways. Looks like someone drove up here. Deer. Let's take off running through the woods. All of a sudden I see the white tail. It could be a tur uh, gator. Yep, he just went under. He's come back up again for a set, split second. Yeah, but when I pulled down here last time, I was just coming down the ramp and right here sat a gator, probably 12 foot long with his raccoon just in his jaws. I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna fish there. Take you put a shiner on? I, uh, Brought two rod holders. <laughs> Could have been that gator. <laughs> well, I'll tighten your drag some. My dad just had something on his line. It was pulling drag and then as soon as he went to set the hook it spit it out. Always remember to squeeze your frog people when you're fishing. Well, you can see on the side of the cannon, you wouldn't kill it, but you see on the side of the cannon, it's that little gator's mouth. Yeah. I figured that's what it was, because he just attacked my frog. There's three more appeared. I thought maybe there was more than one of them over there. Yeah, one was up close, there's one out far, another one at the end of the uh, thing over here, and I got a bite. What is it, what is it, what is it? A damn turtle. You ain't getting in that water. In the pen, that's why. Well, he was biting, and then he. Should be able to grab hold of the hook and just flip it upside down, and he'll flop off of it. Yeah, but I went biting. <coughs> Show me. See how he's watching me. There you go, you're free. No bugger. Ugh, there you go, go free. Oh, remember I was telling you about these lures and why I like them? About how they're paddle tail or U vibe? See how it's the paddle like that? Mm -hmm. If you reel it across the surface, that wire goes through there and creates bubbles. But if you want it to be a U vibe, you just break these two little tabs here and it becomes a U vibe. So you got like three different baits in one. So I don't know what was biting there. I had two bites. The first one cut this leg in half. The second one ripped the freaking leg right out of the frog. My poor frog. He's missing legs. And something hit it and ripped one leg off after something hit it and took one half of the leg.
Ooh, right freaking there again. Okay, full of grass. Swirling. Let's see if I can't get into it. Super slow. Oh, whatever it was on the passage. Got him! At least I think I do. Yep, he's still on there. I'm through all that grass. The joy is. I feel like I'm about to break my damn rod. Come on, baby. You need bigger than I thought, but you're a nice one. Whoo, he is bigger than I thought. He's fat, boy. Holy crap. Look at that. On a one-legged frog. frog. Yep. The tore up one? Should we keep him or let him go? But they were hitting literally right here at the edge of this grass. I don't know how much more my frog can take. He's got holes all in him now and everything else. Yeah, I was over here just a minute ago before I caught that guy. And there had to be, you know those pictures of large bass? Got him. That. <laughs> those large fish that jump up out of the water and stuff, those pictures. One jumped right over by that tree. It looked like an 8, 10 pounder. This guy's small. He's only about a pound. Whew. He's fatter than the other one, though but shorter. Nope, just straight retrieving. Now, if I get like hung up in the grass, I'll pause for a second and try to let the grass float off. That's the only time I'll pause. But they ain't even hitting then. They're hitting as I'm retrieving. Got him. Bass number three, same freaking hole. Oh my god. I'm gonna let my dad fish here. I think three fish, roughly the same size each, is enough for me.
I'm going to go ahead and let you have that spot. <laughs> Third one. They're real pretty fish, though. It's, uh... Let me get all the grass off it. It's roughly that color. A little bit darker green with a white belly with a yellow lip on it. Another one. I should have several frogs, actually. Yeah, because I know between all of us, we've been buying you frogs, me frogs, and everything else. I know you got some of these live targets because I got you some of these live target baits. Okay, um, I put them in this bag. Mouse, another monkey type bait. That would yeah. work. He's That's more of the right color. Yeah, it's, it's not quite as big, but about the same size as that one. I think this one's actually bigger than that one, but still, um, what I would do with you, it, you ain't got any scissors, do you? So you can cut the the, the skirt of it. To where it's only an inch or two behind the uh, hooks because that's what they were doing they were hitting the legs on this and weren't getting hooked once that got down to half then all of a sudden they were getting hooked yeah right in there and constantly squeeze the water out otherwise you're going to sink in the grass even more Make sure I ain't getting wrapped around that fence. That sounded like something splashed right where you threw it. What well, is the clouds start covering up that sun? Just so you guys know. The man I'm fishing with today is my stepfather. I would not even know how to fish if it wasn't for him. Yeah, it looks like I'm out fishing him, but he's the one that got me out on the water when I was young and taught me the basics, which then got me into fishing tournaments where I learned more from local anglers and fishing and got me just in love with fishing in general. everything to that man. Yeah, I heard it. Ooh, you just had something hit it. Got him? I lost another one. But it's me and my dad. He's a great guy. He taught me everything I need to know uh, about fishing. He's the one who got me started in fishing. So it's great that uh, I get to go fishing with him again. Anyways, we're out here fishing. We're going to be calling it soon. It's getting hot and the fish bite just shut off like that. So uh, we're going to try a few more casts, a few more things. But in the meantime, I'll see you all there. Please subscribe, hit that like button, share my videos. And I do have a Facebook group, Vanesti Outdoors. Check that out. Hopefully I'm not blind you guys with sun. And I will see you all.